Good morning, Daily Boulders from beautiful Prague. Prague, the home of castles and beer and cafola, but not the home of flipping Uniqlo. The nearest outlet is in Berlin and I need some drip. And so I thought, why don't we drive across the old DDR? Go to Berlin and see what adventures we can have on the way. Maybe we'll meet some bubbishkas and we can ask them if life is better now or when Hugo Boss was all the rage. Join me. We've just started the journey and the coppers are already onto us, parking in the wrong spot. Okay, let's go. Sorry, policeman. Oh, shit. <laughs> right then, we're off on a DDR adventure with a lean chick at the wheel. Check out lovely Prague, but whoa, flipping heck. Let's not write off another hire car. Look at beautiful Prague, I was about to say, before we almost smashed into a BMW. Look how beautiful it is. Prague is an absolutely stunning city, but I'm looking forward to seeing what it's like across the borders. I've never been to Germany, so, um, whoa. let's go. Can you do it, Elinchik? Can you get us there in one piece, what do you reckon? Could you get us in one piece in Kyrgyzstan? We don't discuss Kyrgyzstan. Yeah, we you? discuss, what you mean? Let's see what happens on the border. Is there a border? I don't know. Is someone going to stop us? Is there like an old red post that comes up and down? Like in an exclave? I don't know. Let's see what happens. See if we have our documents checked. Have you been to Germany before? Yes, I've been. Liked it? It's okay. Right, boys, I think we're about to come into old Bundesrepublik Deutschland. Woohoo! First time for the channel, first time for me. The old Bundesrepublik of Deutschland. Wow. How exciting, Elinchik. Check it out. This is actually Germany. Really so exciting. There was no stops on the border. So immigrants, if you're coming from Afghanistan, you want an easy way into Germany, you just come from Prague and no one will stop you. How soon will get to Prague? I don't know. Prague's a bit tougher. Can you contain the excitement? I will try to. Can you stop touching me? <laughs> Wow, check it out. This was once a DDR house and probably a member of the Stasi lived in that house and he used to spy on his neighbour and then he'd watch him with binoculars when they were at that bus stop. A DDR bus stop! We've seen our first DDR bus stop. This is amazing. It's a flipping castle in the middle of Germany. I wonder who was kept in that in past times. Wow. We've stopped off in a little village in the middle of East Germany because there's a building I want to have a quick look at which, well, will be maybe instantly recognisable to many of us Brits. Let's go and check it out quickly on our way to Uniqlo. Guys, on the hill above me is the infamous Kolditz Castle. Check it out! Kolditz Castle here in the middle of Germany and here comes a young Fräulein. Guten Tag, Fräulein. In Colditz Castle in the past, in the Second World War I should say, is where they kept the British officers that were captured by the Germans. Up there, they kept them here above the, above the town of Colditz because they said you couldn't escape from it. But that didn't stop many from trying. They even built a glider to try and fly out of it. But anyway, there it is. Colditz Flipping Castle. Gunda, Gunda. Colditz Castle. Yes. What do you think about it? <laughs> I'm working in the castle. Are you? Normally. Oh, well. ah. But in this time. Yeah? And that upstairs. Yeah? And then I can go inside? Yes. Perfect. Thank you so much. Bye. Thank you, Shin. Wow, what lovely German lady who said we can go inside the castle after all. Let's go inside the castle. There we go. Linchik? Yes. We can go inside the castle. Good idea. Let's go. Let's go. There you go. Wow, Germans are friendly in the DDR. Who knew? Schloss called it. It says, Weil auf ich haben wir... Oh, okay, we got it in English. It says, <laughs> for the time being, we are open for you. Till 4 p.m. Until 4 p.m. What time is it? Two, two o'clock. Two days in advance. Ah. If possible, two days in advance. Who is going to make their plans two days in advance? Flip it, Nick. It's not easy visiting museums in Europe, is it? 
Bye bye, cold it's. Wow, look how pretty Eastern Germany is. Who knew? It looks absolutely nothing like Belarus. Are you waiting some kind of reaction from me? Should we go inside? Yeah. Let's go better here. Yeah, yeah. We've stumbled upon just an entire abandoned town here somewhere and flipping the wilds of Eastern Germany. Check it out, this former DDR town that is now just abandoned. Looks wow. Like Belarus. <laughs> it looks like Belarus. Finally she found something that looks like Belarus, but check it out. Finally I feel like at home. Wow, just everything abandoned. Ooh. This is Germany, dynamic, rich, powerful Germany, the leader of Europe. And you've got these abandoned towns just rotting away in the middle of nowhere, isn't it? How awesome is that? We're breaking into an East German factory. Shh. If the Stasi hear us, we're in trouble. Shh. old Stasi factory, we're inside it. I wonder what nefarious things they were making here back in the day. They were torturing the Russian people. Well guys, I know you were wondering what nefarious activities were taking place in this, the Stasi factory. And I've discovered, and it's pretty bloody nasty to be honest with you. Rolls of cardboard paper. Evil. Yeah, okay, we're coming with you, okay. Wow. Man sieht es nicht, wenn grün ist. Wenn alles grün ist, die Bäume grün. We found a chap in the woods who said, I want to show you something interesting. Are you sure he said this? We don't understand anything what he's talking about. Uh, sir, you mm, remember DDR? You remember DDR? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Uh, DDR, yeah? Yeah, yeah. And DDR was good, bad? <laughs> what do you think? Okay. 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 And now, today is better, or today is worse? What do you think? Poor man. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. No problem. What if he's some kind of Hans Fritzl, taking us to his basement, and we're never released? We're following a chap underground. Oh, Russian. Znania Chasti Yest Symbol. Wow. Can you read it, Alinche? Yes. Come on then. In English. Ah, wow, yeah. Helicopter. Wow, yeah. There's an old Soviet helicopter. Wow, and a Soviet Sorry, soldier. soldier. Wow, what a yeah, treasure trove. Ah, uh, yeah. Helicopter. Wow, there it is. Shine on here, Lee. Wow, look at all these old pictures from back in the day. Yeah. Come on. Further on this tour. Where are we going? What is it? Huh? What is it? I hope it's not his knob. <gasps> what when is it? you would allow it. What is it? What is it? Close your eyes. Close your eyes. What is it? No, oh, yes. It's a giant Lenin statue in the forest. What the hell? Wow, Vladimir Ilyich. DDR. DDR. 
there's still traces of the DDR past here. What a wonderful chap. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> Turn <our> legs. <laughs> he showed me his knob. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. You're a great explorer. Thank you. Well, we're in some old flipping, I don't know, aircraft hangar or X factory. And up here on the wall, look, in Russian writing, in red, if you can see it, it says, marking the decision of 28 years of joining the Communist Party of the USSR, Kepe SS. Wow, still here. How flipping awesome is this place? Hey, hey. come here. What's up? Uh huh. What is it? Oh, flipping it. Oh, Wait. flipping it. Turn it over, turn it over, turn it over, lean chick. Wow. Oh, wow. Three amigos. Sailor, soldier, Yuri Gagarin. Flipping neck, wow. You are the greatest Soviet treasure finder and mosaic hunter. Flipping neck, what was it doing here? Let's take it home. Can we? Do you reckon we'll fit it? And sell it on eBay. Uh, I think we have to save the DDR treasure that we found. Flipping neck, it is pretty big though. Onwards to Berlin with our DDR treasure. Arriving to Berlin with style. Some wonderful street lights here, designed by a, a chap called Albert Speer. There you go. Oh, and there's a Nazi eagle in that building. Wow. Welcome to Berlin. Well, I found a little piece of what remains of the old Berlin Wall. Of course, it wasn't called the Berlin Wall to the East Germans. It was known as the Anti-Fascist Defence Barricade. But it wasn't really built to keep out any fascists, it was actually built to keep in the citizens of the DDR, many of whom were willing to risk being shot by soldiers or torn apart by guard dogs to jump over this wall from the east and escape to what they thought would be a better life in West Germany over there. Quite why British have used to kiss foreign leaders on the lips, I have no idea. I don't know if tongues are involved or not. But anyway, this is it. And this is a lean chick, a lean chick. Yeah. Shall we recreate the famous piece of Berlin Wall art here on the streets? Are you a Kyrgyz cowboy? I'm not a Kyrgyz cowboy. And in your sunglasses, uh, I think I'll refrain. Friend zones in front of Brezhnev and Honecker. But here it is, the famous picture. Well, I'm starting to feel at home in old East Berlin. Behind me, we've got the old Kino International Cinema in a style of building that we've recognized from the other place I've been. And over here, we have the old Moscow restaurant, the Moskva, which was the place to come to in DDR times for a night out. And there's something very interesting on the wall. Let's go and check it out. The Moskva Restaurant. It's one of the last remaining DDR mosaics. And a beautiful example it is too, here on the side of the Moskva Cafe, showing different peoples from around the former Soviet Union. We've got people from the Ukraine bringing the fruit harvest, people from Moscow dancing. We've got Sputnik up there, this is interesting. We've got reindeers which represents Northern Siberia, the Nenets people. And here we've got people from Central Asia. Check them out. Well, we're inside what was the Stasi headquarters. Let's have a look around, see if we can get a feel 
for the old DDR in here. What's so fascinating about this Stasi museum, the Stasi headquarters, is that nothing has changed. Everything is just exactly the same as it was when they left the building in 1989. From the brown curtains, the old desks with the old scuff marks still, the typewriters, the telephone systems, the indexing machine. Every citizen of the DDR had an index card here at Stasi headquarters with all their information, who they were meeting, their political persuasions, crimes they supposedly committed. And here the secretaries would have sat. People would have waited in these chairs to go into the meeting rooms here. Wow. You really can feel the history here. You really can imagine what it was like in these rooms. Wow, from these very rooms, these people controlled the entirety of the DDR. Wow. Well, Say what you want about the Stasi, but they certainly knew how to decorate an office nicely. When I get my apartment in Eastern Europe, I'm decorating it just like a Stasi office. Plush, browns, <laughs> awesome. Yes? Indeed very awesome and exciting, but let's go. Let's go shopping. Uniqlo time, finally. Let's buy some drip. Well guys, that's it for our Uniqlo adventure across the DDR. Elinchik, thank you for driving us here. Uh, no problem, you're okay, welcome. Good. I'm going to go back to Prague now with my drip and um, wow the ladies of the Czech Republic with my new style. You forgot to say this video was sponsored by Uniqlo. This video wasn't sponsored by Uniqlo, but if you want to sponsor me Uniqlo, I'm your bitch. So um, anyway, until the next episode, probably on the main channel, We'll see you guys again. Adios and Auf Wiedersehen from the deep from Germany. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs>